we have new developments this morning in the Senate spending scandal. In an evening session, our chamber of uh, sober second thought determined an internal committee will give Senator Mike Duffy's expenses a second look. So let's go live to Jessica Hume in Ottawa for that and all the other twists and turns. Jessica. Hey, Pat. So yes, as you mentioned, this uh, the, the file to do with Mike Duffy's inappropriate expenses has been kicked back uh, to a committee within the Senate. But this is the same closed door committee that had initially reviewed his file. So uh, as you mentioned, many people, namely the opposition, are saying that this simply isn't enough. Uh, the Liberals have called for the police to become involved in the case. And uh, the NDP, uh, I believe last week, had even called for the RCMP to become involved. So um, one Liberal senator, that's James Cowan, he explained that uh, the Senate Committee on Internal Economy, uh, they're the ones, of course, in charge with looking into these expenses, that uh, this group has really lost credibility in all this, and that's why we need uh, the police to become involved. Let's uh, take a listen to Senator Cowan speaking about this yesterday. It is critical that Canadians have confidence in their public institutions. The public allegation of outside interference in the proceedings of the Senate needs to be thoroughly investigated with all parties involved being given an opportunity to explain their respective roles. Now, the uh, Senate Speaker, Noel Kinsella, he's kind of uh, rebuffed this idea of uh, sending the file to the police. He says that this is something that if the internal committee feels uh, that is necessary, they can do uh, at a uh, later date. But in the meantime, uh, the Liberal Party has been trying to trigger a very special uh, committee hearing um, into, uh, into all of this in the hopes that uh, if it actually gets to that point, they'd be able to call any witnesses who they feel uh, is appropriate, namely in this case, Nigel Wright. So, uh, uh, yesterday, of course, CTV was reporting that, uh, in fact, Stephen Harper's former top legal aide, Benjamin Perrin, uh, was actually the individual who brokered this deal between Mike Duffy and uh, former chief of staff Nigel Wright. This, of course, is the $90,000 gift. Um, according to documents that are now in the possession of the prime minister's office, those, uh, rather, that 90000 was initially a loan uh, and not a gift, as we were hearing last week. So uh, another development in that angle is the fact that Perrin has come out now and said that this is absolutely false, uh, accusing the, the CTV of false reporting and saying that he actually had nothing to do with this. He's never even spoken uh, with the Prime Minister about that $90,000. So um, I should add that this is something, the whole issue of the uh, $90,000 uh, is something that the Prime Minister did not address yesterday as he was uh, giving his speech to caucus. Uh, this was a speech that was widely uh, seen to be a failure among uh, political observers. Um, but before I go on, let's take a listen to some of what Stephen Harper did say to caucus yesterday morning. Anyone, anyone who wants to use public office for their own benefit should make other plans or better yet, leave this room. The Senate status quo is not acceptable. Canadians want the Senate to change. I think it's a mistake to focus too much on the Senate in this situation. I understand why the Conservatives want to turn it to the Senate. The problem is with the Prime Minister. The problem is with the Prime Minister's office, the most controlling, unaccountable uh, office that we've ever had that is, uh, is uh, paying off uh, parliamentarians to obstruct an investigation into improper expenses. So there we just heard uh, as well Liberal leader Justin Trudeau who's echoing a sentiment that's felt by many here and that is the fact that uh, you know this is not a matter of a few senators behaving badly uh, as soon as the, the the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff is involved. This uh, you know this is a matter that is extremely close to the Prime Minister himself uh, one that he's going to uh, you know have to deal with eventually uh, likely over the next coming weeks and uh, in the meantime Pat we're hearing from senators both Liberals and Conservatives who are calling for Mike Duffy to leave the Senate altogether. Wow. Okay, Jessica, we will continue to monitor this. Thank you. You're welcome. In the meantime, the Prime Minister has left scandal behind for a while to handle business in South America. Stephen Harper is set to meet with the President of Peru today to boost bilateral uh, partnerships there. Christy Kirkup is traveling with the Prime Minister and has this report from Lima. Prime Minister Stephen Harper has arrived here in Lima, Peru, where he will try to plow ahead with a planned trade mission while his government is under fire for a Senate controversy in Ottawa. Harper will be meeting with the Peruvian president on Wednesday in a bid to talk bilateral relations. 
Now, Canada and Peru have had a free trade agreement since 2009, but Harper's biggest challenge on the ground will be to face Canadian reporters that have travelled here to ask him questions about a Senate controversy that dominated headlines while MPs were away from the Commons last week. Questions loom about a $90,000 check that was cut by Harper's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright. Now, this money was given to Senator Mike Duffy in a bid to pay off improper housing expenses. Wright resigned in wake of the controversy on Sunday and Duffy has left the Conservative caucus. But there have now been calls from Conservative members, including Heritage Minister James Moore, for Duffy's outright resignation from the upper chamber. Following Harper's trip in Peru, he will be heading on to Colombia, where he will be attending the Pacific Alliance Leaders Summit. Christy Kirkup, Sun News, Lima, Peru.